Hi and welcome to Toya Creates. My name is Toya Edet. In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate a calendar in Adobe InDesign using a calendar script. Now, the focus of uh, this video is not to design the calendar per se, but just to um, generate the dates that you can use on your own designs in, subs in a subsequent video, which you should definitely uh, look out for by subscribing and clicking the uh, notification bell because in the next video I'm going to show you how I design um, a calendar from start to finish using this script all right that being said let's jump right in all right so where to get the calendar script it doesn't come in um, in design by default you have to go to a website and download it all right so you go to the website where the the script is uh, domiciled and you can download it they're free of charge but if you have to use it for a commercial uh, purpose you have to um, uh, pay some money about twenty dollars or I can't, can't really remember but I will leave the link uh, in the description to where you can download the script so in my own case I have downloaded it already I want to install it so how do you install that you go to the scripts panel and click on the um, right click on the user uh, folder but if you don't see this uh, script panel in your own panel what you do is that you go to window you go to uh, utilities and click on scripts and once you click on scripts you drive down and you see um, two um, folders one is application one is user so to install I just right click on the user uh, folder reveal in Explorer then I go to the scripts panel as you can see I already have uh, one installed but I recently downloaded the most uh, recent that is the updated version so what I'll do I'll just paste the um, script here which is calendar with at 5.1.1 uh, so I can close this and I go to my user um, a folder and I open it as you can see I have quite a number of uh, scripts that I've already downloaded that I used on a regular basis but in this uh, tutorial we're going to focus on this calendar wizard 5.1 this is an older version so what I do I click make sure you have uh, a page opened double click on the calendar wizard once I do that I wait for it to bring up this um, large dialog box and what I would do is that I'll go and change the first month which is January 2021 and the last month which is um, December 2021 as a matter of fact you can decide to you, you know just choose the, the range of months that you want to create but in this case I want to create from January to uh, December uh, language I'll leave it at English week or uh, weekday heading style I can leave it at auto or I change it to single letter S uh, uh, mid uh, or mid letters uh, SUN which is the sun then full Sunday I will just leave it at uh, auto and we can say let the week start Monday Saturday or Sunday I'll leave it on Sunday and I'll determine I go to this um, next uh, portion which is the page setting I normally leave all these ones um, as is as the default uh, you can just play around and see how um, what you get using all the other uh, settings so I come here calendar per page you have between 1 and 12 um, calendars per page uh, I'll show you how we can do either 1 or 12 calendars per page so in, in this example we're going to do for the uh, one calendar per page and the number of pages or the page to use you could leave it at auto current text frame if you have a text frame already created a new document current document in this um, example I'm going to leave it on auto then I make sure I always uncheck this because it's normally would create a blank um, text layer which I don't really use so I make sure this is unchecked and I click on OK and allow it to do its thing so you can see that it's generating the days um, of the month from January to December 2021 so this has been done we can see that it has generated all the all the um, months from the first month which is January 2021 to December 2021 and the dates are accurate all right so in the next example I'm going to show you how to create all the 
a month in one page. All right, so I go back to my scripts panel. I double click on the calendar wizard. And I choose January 2021 to December 2021. I leave everything as is. Then when it comes to the calendars per page, I have, I put it to 12 and I click OK. But before I click OK, remember I said always make sure you uncheck this. If you don't want to create um, a, an additional text layer, then I click on OK. I would like to generate its thing. So as you can see, it has generated the all the months in the year 20. 21. All right, that concludes the tutorial for today. And I hope you learned something. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I will be creating or designing a calendar from scratch using this script so that you see how I use it and you can uh, take a, a thing or two from it. So I'll catch you in the next video. Do take care and catch you in the next one.